Hey friends, it's me, Taylor Renee, and today I have what? What's up, friends? Welcome back. I What's up, friends? It's Taylor Renee. What's up, friends? It's Taylor Renee back again with another video, and today we're going to be doing one of the trendiest things on YouTube right now a room transformation. So when we moved into this house, I always knew that this room was going to be like my art room or like some sort of just like creative room where I could do the creative things that I do in my life. The only thing I did when we moved in was paint one wall pink, that's it. All the walls were like the contractor white, so like that yellowy eggshell white, and I painted one wall like this really cute baby pink. That's the only thing I did to this room, and for a really long time, this room just served as like a storage room. <laughs> It was supposed to be my art room, but really we were just throwing things in here that we didn't know where else to put in the house. About a month ago, I decided that that needed to change and that my art room needed to come into its full glory. Without even any planning really, I just started doing things. And the first thing I did, which is for sure out of order, because I don't like to do things in order, was paint. Fair warning, in all of these clips I look crazy because it's usually like 9 o'clock at night when I start doing it, so my hair looks crazy and I'm in my regular like house clothes. After I painted the first wall, I decided that I was going to start painting the ceiling because, <laughs> you know, after one wall comes the ceiling, right? But when I started painting the ceiling, stuff started dripping off of the ceiling onto my stuff, and that's when I realized I needed to clean everything out of this room. So cue the satisfying cleaning montage. Chasing the money like a yeah. bunny, huh, can never be stopped, can never be stopped. I'm hit to the game like a yeah. bunny, huh, watch me, huh, watch me, huh. Stashing the carrots like a yeah. bunny, huh, shining my rocks, shining my rocks. If you get lucky like a huh. bunny, huh, you get your foot chopped. Hop get off my jig, hitting the switch, hitting the lick, yeah. out in the fit, out with the click, click. out with your chick. Yeah. We in the sky, you in the sky, we can drive by, we can say hi, eating all the pie, we never lie. They always try, but yeah. nothing ever sticks. We throw them hits and we never miss. Walking with the set, whole crew stay dressed, and it means get a dress, work it out, and we flex. We queued up, we next, we up eating breakfast, checking the checks, checking the checklist, pay me respects, or they pay respects. Goons on your neck, like your favorite necklace. Many respect, as many will test. If you ain't legit, hop off my dick. Once I got the ceiling painted, I moved on to the baseboards because naturally, that's what comes next. And I know you're thinking to yourself, Taylor, why did you paint the walls exactly the same color that they were before? And I know in these clips, it looks like I'm just painting over white with white, but I primed the walls first. And you can definitely tell the difference between the primer and the wall paint, even though they're both white. My outfit changes a lot in these clips because I did a lot of this over the span of a month. Lighting also changes a lot because like I said, I start a lot of it at night. Sometimes the sun rises while I'm working, sometimes the sun is setting while I'm working, so sorry. Okay, so once I was done painting, I realized that having just three plain white walls is really not what I was looking for. So I started taping off this pattern on the wall that had the two doors on it. I know that I don't get film of me actually starting the tape, but it was like 10 p.m. and I didn't really think about filming at that point. I was just like, this looks cool, let's do this. Anytime you tape a pattern on the wall or anytime you use paper tape at all you want to paint over the edge of the painters tape with the color that's on the wall that's what's going to give you a nice crisp line because the second color which in my case was pink that you paint into the pattern is going to bleed under the tape like no tape is perfect so the first paint you want is the paint that's already on the wall so that when it bleeds it's the same. Does that make sense? I ended up with this triangle pattern I don't know what I was going for when I started taping but I think I like what I ended now I always knew that I was going to have shelves on this wall on the same wall that I did the triangle on I just didn't know exactly what it was going to be I didn't know if I was gonna have a bookcase or if I was gonna install shelves. I ended up installing the shelves. I got these shelves from Lowe's. Actually, I got all of this from Lowe's and I just installed and put everything together myself. There were a lot of missteps along the way. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just pushing screws into product. But it ended up working. What I ended up doing was putting the two shorter arms on the shelf before mounting on the wall and then mounting the longer arm onto the middle of the shelf. That's what you see me doing here. I'm taping off the center of that triangle and mounting the middle arms onto that. Now, when you're mounting things that are going to hold weight onto drywall, you can't just use a screw. You have to use some sort of anchor, otherwise it's just going to pull the whole thing out of the wall and leave you with huge holes in your drywall. I couldn't be bothered with looking for a stud, so we went with drywall anchors. After I got all of the center studs into the wall, I just popped the shelf up on top of it, made sure it was level, and then screwed everything into the wall. And this is the final product of that. 
The next thing I wanted to do was something that I've been calling a living wall. I got inspiration for this from Pinterest. I'll pop a few of these up on the screen here. The problem with these, which is what I would have completely wanted, is that it is super expensive. Like everywhere. I tried looking for things that I could put up on the wall that would resemble this and it was just super expensive. So what I ended up doing was going to Amazon and ordering a bunch of these vines because they're much cheaper. I think I got six packs of 12 and it was two packs for 14 dollars so all together I spent like $45 on this whereas like one grass panel that I was looking to put up on the wall was like $100. The way I ended up hanging these was I made a loop out of the top of the vines and hot glued it together and then slid it onto a dowel that I got from Home Depot. So it looked like a curtain basically and then hung the curtain up using these eye hook screws that I screwed into the wall. I ended up getting some of the vines that have flowers on them too so that I could do like a flowery wall and I hung fairy lights behind. I just have to go get a snack. What am I doing? It's a 10 minute talk through video. I can't get through it without a snack. The last DIY for this part of the video is sort of like a macrame wall hanging, except there's no macrame wall. So I really don't know what to call it. It's like a dream catcher, but with less appropriation. Yeah. So I started off with these two um, crochet rings. The crochet rings? Knitting rings? Something like that. From the craft store. I hot glued them together. And then all I did was add yarn to the bottom of it in bunches. Once I was happy with the way that the bottom looked, I tried to figure out what I was gonna do with the top. I wasn't 100% sure what I was gonna do when I started. I just kind of went with how it was making me feel. So what I decided to do was wrap the entire length around the outer hoop with the yarn so that it matched the bottom, and then ended up liking it so much that I went and did the inner hoop as well. Once I got to about the center of the middle hoop, I realized that I, I wanted to hang something from the inside of the center hoop, so I stopped wrapping it with a thick yarn, added a small piece of the little yarn, and then kept wrapping around that piece. So that piece hung down the center of the small hoop, and then the rest of the thick yarn wrapped around the outside. It's on the living wall, so I decided it needed some sort of plant, a flower or something. I had these small, well, I have one right here. Hold on. I had these little fake succulents that I got from the dollar store in these square vases. And they were very cute. The white ones are actually decor on the shelves, but I didn't have any use for the one in the black vase. So I just pulled the succulent out of the vase and then added it to this DIY. My initial thought was to try and wrap the yarn around the stem of the succulent, but it just didn't hang the way that I wanted it to. So what I decided to do was not wrap the yarn at all. I just decided to hot glue it in between some of the succulent's leaves. That works so much better and it hangs so much more freely. All right, that's it for part one. I know, I know, I'm so sorry. I wanted to get the whole thing done in one video, but it would end up being like a 40 minute video. And is that what you want? I don't think that's what you want. Sorry, I thought I wasn't recording for a second. I got very annoyed. So this is part one. And I know, before we go, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of what the entire room looks like, okay? Cue that right now. I hope you tune in next week to see the final product. I'm so excited to share with all of you. I'm Taylor Renee. I upload every Tuesday, and I hope you have a crazy, wonderful day.